Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Uh, we give thanks to Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for making it easy for us to witness another Ramadan 1445 after the Hijrah of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The month of Ramadan has started and uh, the first thing for every Muslim Ummah to take a look into is just what really happened yesterday when we are, we must search for the moon first. And as the Prophet says, Sumu li ruhiyatihi, wafturu li ruhiyatihi, fa ingum alaykum al hilal, fa akmilu la iddata sha'ban salathina yawma. Then fast when the moon has been sighted. Then you break your fast when the moon of Shawwal has been sighted too. But if because of one reason or the other, you are unable to see the moon, then then you count the month of Shaban to be 30. And if you can see that we saw it yesterday, then there's no need for Shaban to be 30. Mm -hmm. And that is why the Sultan of Shokoto, his eminence, announced that the month of Ramadan will start today and the moon has been sighted. And that's the reason why you see people fasting today. And you can see that uh, the, the time for us to start the month of Ramadan is every morning when you take your sahur so we, we you may not see clearly now but because everything in islam is being organized so i may not tell you around 6 30 or 5 30 but it's already stated so those who are working on it immediately before zubi prayer maybe around 4 35 then some people will stop taking the their sahur then they will begin Ramadan until when Maghrib prayer is being called. So that is the time you can break your fast. Then during the month of Ramadan, there are a lot of spiritual benefits whereby abstaining from eating, smoking, sexual intercourse, and many other things. Then you can now see that uh, your closeness to Almighty Allah will surely be increased because you believe that, like Prophet uh, Prophet said the other thing. Allah said in the Holy Quran, The jinns and mankind were not being created just like that, except to worship Almighty Allah. Though the spiritual benefit again is that those who are in need, you don't, they don't have. As you are giving to them, you are getting the reward. And that reward you are, that Allah will be giving to you is, is unmeasurable because just give as God has given to you. Don't hide. Don't hold. Don't say, no, 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 things are very hard now. I don't want to give my food to anybody. Don't do that. Because God that has given it to you, he can equally take it away from you. So for you to have done that or do good things in the month of Ramadan, you are exhibiting a very, you know, significance. What people can see you and believe in, even those who are not Muslims, when they look at you, that you are giving out to the needy, and then you are giving them for the sake of Almighty Allah. And one thing we don't even realize, even though that they are giving this to you, they need to be appreciated. It's not that somebody gives you something now, then is this, this, is this what you're supposed to have given to me? What if he refuses to give to you? And in the month of Ramadan, is a month of spending, whereby whatever God has given to you, you give it to assist the work of Almighty Allah. If you go back to the Holy Quran, Allah look at us at times and say, I want to know our life. Is it not you people that we will invite to come and spend in the ways of Allah? Among you there are some who are niggardly. Whoever is niggardly is doing that at the expense of his own self. Allah says, Wallahu li ganiyu. Wallahu li ganiyu. I am so rich. Allah is rich. Every one of you, I look at you as somebody who doesn't even have anything at all. If you refuse to give, your step del come and gayarako. Then we'll exchange you and bring those who are ready to spend. Then you can never be like them. So you can see that the month of Ramadan is a, is, is a month of a spiritual upliftment whereby sober reflection, let people see it in you. Don't pretend, don't do show off, whereby in the month of Ramadan you see some people with just be everywhere. No, 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 no. That is, not, that is not the spiritual of it. 
wasiru kaulakun awujihar bihi inahun alimu bizati sudur whatever you say Allah knows whatever you conceal openly or secretly is not hidden in the sight of Almighty Allah so let then you wake up at night there's another spiritual benefit you wake up at night and talk to Almighty Allah wa minan layli fatahajjad bihi nafilatan laka asa ayya bi asaka rabbuka maqaman mahmuda in the night you wake up at night and discuss with Allah by bringing out the tahajjud yes if you look at that asa according to what our teachers who are with us in the studio taught us maybe it's still under probability asa ayya bi asaka rabbuka maqaman mahmuda maybe your lord can still elevate you your lord can take you to the highest position you you could ever imagine in your life so that is the spiritual uh, you know benefit of it you wake up in the night you wake your family you tell your wives to do the right to do the needy needful and you know that even your wife they will even gain because they will be the one to wake up at in the night and cook the sahur and they will now go and call their husband it is time most of the husband is they will go and wake them up. But it's better for them to wake up and be doing the nafila. Then their wife will now tell them it is time for That's you to go and take your mm -hmm. yeah. So these are the things that we expected of every one of us, especially in the month of Ramadan. Now,